hello everyone and uh, welcome in this video we are going to look at the solutions for question number three for biology paper two for gce 2018 examination so this is question number three and question number three has uh, figure 3.0 and figure 3.0 shows uh, part of the urinary system so we have the urinary system and uh, the, we have labeled parts O, P, Q, and D, R. So let's now look at the questions which were asked. So the questions uh, which were asked for this question, uh, it's uh, simply to identify the parts uh, labeled D, O, Q, and D, R. So we have uh, uh, O, here and the O is the major blood vessel which is taking blood back to the heart so the major blood vessel which actually takes blood back to the heart is the vena cover so meaning that uh, the part labeled O here is uh, the vena cover so that is uh, part uh, O then the next part uh, is uh, Q which is uh, this part here which is uh, moving from uh, the kidney down to the bladder here so the structure q is actually the ureter so this part here is the ureter then uh, the next structure we have is r down here which is the urinary bladder So we have the urinary blood. So these were the parts which we are given to label. So for part uh, O, this is the vena cava, uh, ureter, and uh, we have the urinary blood. Of course, uh, P here is the uh, kidney. So these here are now the function. I mean the parts which we labeled the vena cover, ureter and the urinary blood. So that was the solution to question number A1. Let's now move on to the next question. So the next question is uh, A2 and for A2 we are simply asked to suggest three substances which are excreted by the tutory organ shown in figure 3.0. So the tutory organ which we have is uh, the kidney here which is uh, part, uh, part P so the kidney will actually produce uh, urine as an excretory waste and in urine uh, we are going to have uh, uh, three substances uh, mostly which are excreted so the first uh, the major thing which is removed is the uh, urea which is coming from the deamination of uh, amino acids from the liver so the kidney will remove uh, urea then it will also remove uh, mineral salts so we are going to also have expression of mineral salts then apart from that we also remove uh, excess uh, water so we are also going to remove uh, water as well which is uh, in excess so these are the three substances which are basically excreted by uh, the kidney which is in figure 3.0 so this was the uh, these were the solutions to this question then the next question we have is uh, B and B says give one example of an excretory function of uh, the kidney so the kidney is also able to balance uh, water by simply uh, reabsorption of water so to carry out the reabsorption Absorption of water in the mineral filtrate uh, filtrate uh, with the, the aid of uh, the hormone ADH, which is the uh, that is the hormone which we normally use sorry sorry about that 
Okay, so we are saying the uh, the uh, osmoregulatory function here is that uh, we are re reabsorbing, sorry, the reabsorption of water in the glomerulus filtrate with the aid of the hormone ADH, which is antidiuretic hormone. So that is uh, one way in which the uh, kidney will actually help in uh, osmoregulation. Then uh, apart from that, we can also have the kidney working in uh, uh, balancing uh, uh, salt levels by using the hormone uh, aldosterone, which will actually help in reabsorption of uh, salt in uh, the glomerulus filtrate when salt levels are low in the body. So here we we'll just simply use the reabsorption of water in the glomerulus filtrate as our solution. Then uh, we can move on to the next uh, question. And the next question here is saying identify two disorders that might affect the respiratory system. So we're looking at diseases which now can also affect uh, the kidneys. So the first disease we have is diabetes uh, mellitus. So we have diabetes mellitus when that people with the sugar disease will also suffer from uh, kidney can suffer from kidney failure then the other disease which we have is a uh, hypertension which people normally refer to as bp or we simply say high blood pressure so high blood pressure can actually cause the glomerulus to actually burst due to that build up of pressure which might end up damaging the glomerulus and then will stop the process of ultra filtration so these were the solutions to question number three for GCE 2018 biology paper 2 thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss uh, any new videos which I upload. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you so much.